Forge for Minecraft 1.19. In this video, we're going to show you exactly how to get it, install it, and get things up and running with Forge in Minecraft. Obviously, Forge being the biggest mod loader out there for Minecraft 1.19, featuring mods like Journey Map, Just Enough Items, Tinker's Construct, just to name a few. Pretty much all the most popular Minecraft mods of all time run on Forge or can run on Forge. For example, Optifine can be run on Forge. So all of those mods and so many more. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. Now, step one is downloading Forge. And you can find in the description down below, the second link down below, a link to here. This is our text tutorial for getting Forge, where you can go through things at your own pace if you want to. Otherwise, let's go ahead and click on the green Download Forge button. That will open up the Forge download page, where we want to make sure that Minecraft 1.19 is selected. But it's not. It's 1.18. So what we need to do is come over here to the left-hand side side, click on 1.19 and click 1.19 here. Once you do see MC 1.19 here, come under download latest and click on installer. It'll then take us off to add focus where stop, don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Not a single button on this page should be clicked. Just sit on this page for about 10 seconds and then after about 10 seconds in the top right, a red skip button will appear. Click that red skip button, and then in the bottom left, Forge will start downloading in Google Chrome. It might be on the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. On Firefox, you might need to save it. On Google Chrome, you might need to keep it in the bottom left. And before we get on to installing Forge, have a message from our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We love just Apex so much, so we host our own server, play breakdowncraft.com on them, and setting up a modded Forge server at Apex is super easy. Literally, you just select Forge in the sign-up process, and your Forge server is up and running. Running. You can easily add as many mods to it as you want, and on top of all that, mod packs are just one-click setup at Apex. So nevertheless, go to the first link down below the breakdown of XYZ slash Apex to get your server, modded or unmodded, up and running in under five minutes. However, you've got Forge downloaded, but where is it? Well, it's going to be in your downloads folder most likely, and to find that, click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, or the bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Then type in Downloads. You have this Downloads file folder here. Open that up, and in here you'll have Forge. Right there it is. You can draw drag this to your desktop, but not you can, you should just drag this to your desktop. Now if this icon isn't correct, that's okay. Let's see if we can open up Forge first. Do that by right clicking on Forge, clicking on open with, clicking on Java, and clicking OK. But if you don't have Java there, then what do you do? Well, in that case, you need to go ahead and download Java, Java 17 specifically. This version of Java is required in order to run Minecraft mods in 1.19, whether that be Forge, whether that be Optifine, whether that be Start a Minecraft Server, actually. All of those require getting Java 17, and it's linked down below. Come here, go through this tutorial, and you should be good to go. You should be able to open up Forge. If you are still having issues, just run the jar fix after you get Java, and it'll fix everything. I'll take all those jar files on your computer and link them to Java how they should be anyway. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead and minimize our browser, right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. That will then open up the mod system installer for Forge, where all we need to do is click on Install Client and click OK. It's going to download, install, and basically do everything it needs to do to get Forge set up and running in Minecraft 1.19. It's this simple. You just kind of sit back, relax, and wait. Right? You just sit back and wait. And eventually it will come up and say successfully installed Client Profile Forge. There it is. Successfully installed Client Profile Forge for version 1.19. Awesome. Click OK. That'll close out of the installer and you can delete Forge from your desktop. You don't need it anymore. Now, let's play Minecraft with Forge. To do that, open up the Minecraft launcher like so. My launcher has to update, but your experience may vary on that. Yours probably won't. And once the launcher is open, it's super, super easy to select Forge. It's automatically selected for me, but if it isn't for you, click the little arrow next to the play button here and then select Forge from this list. Now, if Forge isn't on that list for you, or you don't have 1.19 Forge, right? If under Forge it doesn't say 1.19, here's what you do. Go up to Installations, and then on the Installations tab, make sure Modded is selected. As you can see, Modded's not selected, right, at all. Select Modded, there's Forge. You're good to go. Click Play, click Play again. But if you still don't have Forge or 1.19 Forge, click New Installation. Now you can name this whatever you want, but I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com, which is our incredible 1.19 Grief Protected Survival Minecraft server. You should come check it out. After that, let's go ahead and click on the version drop down box here, and we want to select Release 1.19 Forge from this list. Mine's the top, but you may have to scroll down a ways to find yours. Once you've got 1.19 selected, I'm going to change our resolution, that's so we can see once we get in game, and click Create in the bottom right. Now we have this brand new profile we created, playdarkbreakdowncraft.com, that most importantly has 1.19-forge under it. 
Hover over this, click the green play button, click the green play button again, and now Minecraft 1.19 is going to open up with Forge installed. It's that simple to get Forge. So here we are in Minecraft. Now you can see in the top, Forge is in beta. That means there will be bugs. But if we look in the bottom left of Minecraft, you can see Forge there, and there's a Mods tab. How do you get mods installed in Forge? Well, check out the video on your screen right now to see exactly how to get mods up and running in Forge. It's super simple, super easy, and that video covers everything, including where to find awesome mods that you may want to check out. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content, and we'll see you in the next one.